I'm real excited to share this information with you because it's been a long time coming. This is a huge win. And I, I'm just really, really excited about this. In, um, in 2020, I acquired uh, two duplex properties that were built back in the 50s. And at the time of the purchase, um, these properties required some extensive upgrading, right? And um, they were due to some, some deferred maintenance. And um, anyway, so the rental income was below the market rates. And this has been our business strategy, which involves acquiring um, such properties at a lower cost, investing our own sweat and equity. And then um, we, anyways, we, we embarked on the renovation journey from this particular property and we did it unit by unit. And through the process, we kept our tenants informed and notified as we moved from one unit to the next unit. However, um, this last tenant that we had in there, she just proved to be a little challenging. And she expressed a very strong reluctance to move. And she even accused me of discrimination based on her race. And she said that I did not want to renew her lease because she was black. I, she said that I did not want to renew her lease because um, I did not want to fix any of her repairs because she was black. I mean, it was just all kinds of stuff. And she had all kinds of accusations. And, and let me just clarify something. That our decision to not renew her lease um, was entirely in line with our established business model. And we repaired everything that she needed to have repaired. And we have a history of very similar practices from the many, many years now. We renovate properties and raise rents, and that's what we do. So we're in this for as a profit, a business, you know. And so, anyway, so things took a very serious turn. I actually received a notice from the real estate board informing me of a complaint that was filed against me at the Fair Housing Committee of the real estate board. And so this initiated an investigation, which I understood could potentially jeopardize my real estate license. And despite knowing of my innocence, and I had to take this matter very seriously. And so I prepared to uh, prove my case. Well, thankfully, I keep meticulous documentation, and this proved to be my saving grace. I have a habit of documenting everything, every conversation, every email, every piece of paper related to my properties and the tenants and, and all of my clients. Anyway, some people might consider a little extensive, um, but this practice actually became invaluable in this particular situation. I have three years of, of past, the, last, the past three years has involved multiple conversations, multiple investigators, because um, they would hire somebody to, to investigate and they would quit. And then I get another investigator and I have to start all over. And, and, and it's extensive collections of documents, emails, conversations, and on and on and on. So anyway, on November 16th, 2023, I actually had an opportunity to present my case before the real estate board. And I was allowed to speak for five minutes presenting my side of the story. And after careful consideration, the real estate board recommended that there was not sufficient evidence to support the tenant's discrimination claims and a motion was made and passed by the committee to dismiss this case. This was a significant victory for, for us and it provided me such a sense of relief. But throughout this whole challenging process, I gained some valuable insights that I'd like to share with you. First and foremost, I cannot emphasize enough the the 
the crucial documentation was that saved me from a very difficult situation. I mean, always write everything down. Always document everything. Be very diligent about recording anything. Whether it is in writing form or digitally, I'm incredibly grateful that I had cultivated this habit many, many years ago. And I've been doing it since I uh, got my license in 2003. So this wisdom holds even more importance into today's digital uh, technology. And, and technology actually makes it much more easy to document everything. Now, another profound lesson that I learned was the importance of integrity and staying true to yourself. And throughout this entire ordeal, I remained steadfast in my belief that I was right. I was in the right industry. I'm doing the right work. And real estate is truly my calling. And uh, it brought me genuine happiness in my life. And nothing should deter me from fulfilling my purpose in this life at this moment. And it was clear to me that I needed to stand up, find my voice, and defend myself. This experience has, has recommitted me to my chosen path in real estate. And I am committed to complying with the fair housing laws and providing equal housing opportunities for all.